Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about MOSFET and here we'll discuss the difference between JFET and MOSFET, types of MOSFETs and we'll also uh, draw the characteristics curve or the transfer characteristics curve. So let's proceed. Why MOSFET first of all? Uh, the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor which is also known as MOSFET compared to BGT can be made very small that it occupies a very small area in an IC chip so it's primarily its size which gives it advantage since the digital circuits can be designed using only MOSFET with essentially no resistors and diodes required the high density VLSI circuit including microprocessor and memories etc. can be fabricated using MOSFET only. Now we have learned uh, JFET and uh, let's uh, recall the various types. So the first one was JFET we have already learned. Then there is another type which is MOSFET which we are going to study now. And then the third type is MESFET. Now in, in MOSFET there are two types, one is the depletion type and the other is enhancement uh, type and the depletion type is primarily, depletion means we have to understand the meaning, the reduction in the number of or quantity of something. So basically here we reduce or the, the number of electrons in the channels, this is the channel is reduced and that is why it is called the depletion type uh, and the MOSFET as we, we just said that it is metal oxide semiconductor FET and now let's identify the metal uh, for the drain source and gate connection so now we can see these the blue colors these are the metals even here the black colors they are metals so it could be any metal oxide for the silicon oxide insulating layer. Now this layer here you can see is the uh, glass or uh, insulator which is also silicon dioxide which is called silicon dioxide. So this is a insulating layer that means the gate and the channel does not have any physical contact uh, or sorry electrical contact because there is an insulating layer in between. And so metal oxide done, semiconductor is this material, NNP type material. Now the MOSFET differs from JFET. Here the gate is insulated from the channel, so we just saw this. This is one of the difference. And for this reason, because of this insulated region, MOSFET is often called insulated gate FET or IG FET. It is the insulating layer of silicon uh, dioxide in the MOSFET construction that accounts for a very desirable high input impedance of the device. So this device is used where high input impedance is required. Now the types of MOSFET, there are two types, we just saw depletion MOSFET and enhancement MOSFET, also known as D MOSFET or E MOSFET. And the manner in which a MOSFET is constructed determines uh, whether it is a D MOSFET or E MOSFET. Then there is another uh, difference that the depletion MOSFET or D MOSFET can be operated in both the depletion mode or enhancement mode. That means in case of a depletion MOSFET, the gate voltage can be negative as well as positive. But in case of enhancement MOSFET, it can only be positive. Now, when BGS, that means the gate voltage is grounded and VDD is positive, current flows in the channel as you can see from here the electrons flowing through the channel on only this part 
similar to that of the JFT. In the JFT also, you know, the current flows like this. Now the applied voltage actually will control the amount of electron flow in this. And the diagram that we had seen in case of a JFT, similar diagram will have here the transfer characteristics, drain and transfer characteristics. So this was the drain characteristics and this is the transfer characteristics. So we'll discuss that. And the two connections that I mentioned is the uh, D MOSFET for the negative region. So this portion it will operate as depletion MOSFET. But when the voltage this becomes positive, it will operate as enhancement uh, mode or enhancement uh, region. Okay, if VGGS is at the negative voltage, then what will happen? So when we apply a negative voltage, the negative potential at the gate will push electrons into the p type material. So the electrons here in this n-type material will be pushed because of negative charge or negative potential here. It will push the electrons further towards drive towards the uh, p-type region because the like charges repel. Then it will also attract the positive or the positive ions or the holes in the p type material towards this and the result will be there will be recombination so electrons going from here and holes coming from here they will re uh, recombine and so in this region there will be a shortage of electron so that is why it will it is now um, uh, deplete in depletion mode that will reduce or deplete the number of free electrons in the cha N channel. So the electrons will reduce. The result, uh, resulting level of drain current is therefore will reduce. So the current will reduce. And as we can see from here, as we keep on increasing the negative voltage at the gate, the current is reducing. So this is the uh, working in the depletion mode. Now if you apply a positive voltage then what will happen? Now for the positive voltage the electrons will remain there or will try to come closer to this side because of the positive charge but because of the insulating layer they will not get in contact. But in addition to that, the electrons present in the p-type material will also uh, get uh, uh, into the channel or get attracted by this positive charge. And that means the number of electrons in the channel will increase. So the positive gate will draw additional electrons or free carriers from the p-type substrate. The drain current will increase at a rapid rate. And so you can see here the drain current is now increasing when the gate voltage is positive. So this we call to be operating in the enhancement mode or it is the enhancement region. So it is particularly interesting and helpful that Shockley's equation will continue to be applicable. So we have read about Shockley's equation in the previous video. So that is applicable in both the depletion and enhancement region. Now let's discuss example 6.3. Question says sketch the transfer characteristics for an N-channel depletion mode MOSFET with IDSS 10 milliampere and VP minus 4. Uh, we, we have learned in the JFT video IDSS is the uh, current between drain uh, uh, and source when VG is short circuited that is VG of the gate voltage is zero and VP is the pinch off voltage so these two are given so first thing we'll do is we keep this shortcut uh, method of calculation in mind that when VGS is zero ID will be I equal to IDSS 
when VGS is VP, then ID will be zero. These are the two extreme points. And then when VG is half of VP, it will be ID SS over four. And when ID is ID SS over two, then it, the VG will be minus three VP. So first of all, we draw the, um, the scales here. Uh, the, the gate voltage and the uh, drain current and first point we identify is the IDSS 10 milliampere so 10 milliampere when when VGS is 0 so this is VGS 0 <coughs> at this we identify the uh, 10 milliampere point which is IDSS and the second uh, we will we'll identify that so VGS is minus 4 when ID is 0. So this is the minus 4 point and the current now you can see is 0. So these were the two extreme points. Now we'll identify the two middle points. And VG is VP by 2 that is minus 4 by 2 that is minus 2. So we are at this point and ID will be ID SS by 2 which is 10 divided by 4 that is 2.5 million. So this is one point and the second point is here. So we'll uh, just plot a dot here. So we have plotted the dot. And the fourth point is when ID is IDSS by two. So half of IDSS, that means five. And then VGS will be 0 0.3 P, which is minus 1.2. So these two points will be connected. And so connecting this point and then we joining it will be our transfer curve. But we just want to see the effect of positive voltage. If you apply a positive one volt, then according to Shockley's equation, now this was the Shockley's equation that we discussed. For VG, now we'll put one volt. And the current will now be 15.63. So this was the IDSS. 15.63 is somewhere here so let's plot that and we can see this current is very very high current so i hope this has given you an idea as to how to solve this type of a question how to plot the transfer characteristics curve thank you